Some of you may recognize the name Michelle Beadle from a backstage incident involving her, CM Punk, and AJ Lee about a year and a half to two years ago. Some of you may recognize her name from ESPN and some of the work that she does there. And some of you might not have any damn clue who the hell I'm talking about, and I assure you that is to your benefit. But she is worth talking about because in some ways it represents the stupidity that we get from today's media, and in this particular case, today's sports media. And the reason I'm here to talk about her is her recent statement that she's no longer going to be a fan of the WWE after almost two decades of being so, due to Triple H's support of Floyd Money Mayweather and the WWE support of Floyd Money Mayweather, because she has a problem with his past, his serial record of being a domestic abuser of women, and she doesn't like the fact that Triple H is chummy and buddy-buddy with him, and that the company is very chummy and buddy-buddy with him, and therefore she is taking a principal stand by God, and that is it, and we should applaud her and look at her awesomeness. Now let me get this straight. This just now became an issue for you, Michelle Beagle. This just now became something that should be of paramount concern to you, having been a WWE fan all of these years. You just now have figured out that Triple H has a man crush on Floyd Money Mayweather, and that the WWE has a sick, twisted obsession and love affair with Floyd Money Mayweather for reasons that are still unbeknownst to me. This is just now registering in your thoughts thick skull. This is just now becoming a reality to you. It's like all of a sudden you had a magical epiphany. And I don't know why it took you so damn long. This company has supported Floyd Money Mayweather for years. Triple H has been in his corner before it fights. They had him as one of the marquee attractions for their biggest show of the year back in 2008, WrestleMania 24. And you were a fan during that time. Already knowing, or should have been knowing at least, Floyd Money Mayweather's history. This company has supported this guy for years. And all of a sudden now, this is a problem to you? The same WWE, mind you, that has trotted out Stone Cold Steve Austin as the greatest of the greatest, a guy who has a known record and reputation for being a wife beater and damn so. But it didn't seem to stop you then from being a fan. You love Stone Cold Steve Austin and so many things he represents. Apparently, you just never bothered to figure out that he loves to beat his ladies too. And speaking of ladies, all of these years you've been a WWE fan and being a female yourself, you would think you would take great umbrage and exception to the way the company treats their ladies. The fact that they treat them like second-class citizens, the ch fact that they don't give them the same type of chances that you're given in your current line of profession. You would think that might piss you off or that might get your panties in a bunch enough to say enough is enough with this crap. You would think that looking at how the WWE treats its non-white wrestlers and being somebody from an affected class like yourself, even as a white woman, you're still a woman, so that means there are still certain prejudices there, that there are certain discriminations that are still there for you in society today. You would think you would look at the plight of non-white wrestlers in that company and the stereotypical gimmicks that those non-white wrestlers are given and the lack of push that many of those non-white wrestlers, especially black and Asian wrestlers, are given and you would sit there and maybe think to yourself that maybe that would be enough to say enough is enough. I can't support this company and its ways anymore. You would think if you bothered to ever look at this glorious thing called the Internet that for some reason has made you some type of freaking star, you would look back to the early 90s at a time where the ring boys were there basically as sex slaves for certain people like Garvin and Pat Patterson and maybe that would be enough to put you off and sit there and say, maybe I don't want to support this company anymore, especially when you know the WWE whitewashed that shit, and now they trot out Pat Patterson like he's some great savior of humanity. A known, reputable, so to speak, sexual harasser, perhaps even molester. But that didn't stop you. You once said that you admired and liked the way Floyd Money Mayweather lived his lifestyle. And then all of a sudden, apparently, because you had never turned on the freaking internet or never bothered watching any news from your network or any others, you saw what Floyd Money Mayweather was really all about, and all of a sudden you had a problem with it. And now all of a sudden you've got an axe to grind, and now all of a sudden you want to take a big principled stand. 
Well, I call bullshit on all of this. Because the only reason this bitch is all mad and upset is because the bottom line is she's butthurt over getting her credentials pulled from that shitty fight on Saturday night between Money Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. To the idiots that paid 100 bucks for that shit, I hope you feel ripped off. You should have known it was coming. If anything, Mayweather did you a favor because you didn't have to be involved with that crap. But that's all it is. She wanted to sit there and do her thing and put some attention on herself. And all the while, she got her credentials pulled like that was some big freaking surprise. Like you're surprised Floyd Money Mayweather and his team aren't going to sit there and want you and Rachel Nichols involved in it in any way, shape, or form. He had all the control. His camp had all the power. And therefore, as a result, they had the right to do what the hell they wanted to do, which was exercise that power to keep certain people and certain entities and certain anti-Mayweather people out. A similar thing to what the WWE has done for years in terms of suppressing fan voice, asking people to change out of costumes, demanding that people change their shirts, and threatening to take away their signs or taking them out of the freaking arena. So we're all concerned about freedom of speech and you know, the First Amendment and everything else. But for years, you were okay when the WWE would trample on that on a consistent basis. This is what it's all about. She just butthurt about the fact that her credentials got pulled. Because here's the whole thing. People are going to sit there and try to make her out to be some type of hero and some type of voice of reason or some type of necessary thing in today's sports media. She isn't anything, and she's not necessary shit. Because at the end of the day, her principles stop where her paycheck begins. When you look at who Michelle Vito works for, she works for ESPN and HBO. Mind you, the same ESPN and HBO who incessantly promoted Floyd Money Mayweather and this fight. And not just Floyd Money Mayweather, the serial woman abuser, but Manny Pacquiao, the womanizing tax cheat. Look at what ESPN did. They moved half of their freaking network out to Vegas for a damn week to cover this shit. They had Floyd Money Mayweather's butt buddy, apparently Stephen A. Smith, filling the crappy ass of Mod Rashad role, trying to sit there and do all these fluff pieces with Floyd Mayweather to soften his image and have people hate him less because now it's about his legacy. Your networks that you work for, ESPN, HBO, incessantly promoted this and attempted to profit off of this woman abuser. But of course, that's not an issue for you and that's not a problem for you because at the end of the day, you got to get paid. And hey... You got to get paid. You got to get paid. A lot of us in the working world, we don't like half the shit the companies we work for do. But we got to put those principles aside when the paycheck begins. Don't just sit there, though, and tell us that you got all of these principles when you clearly are putting them aside. Because that's where, again, your paycheck begins. This is the same ESPN, mind you that has trumpeted the greatness of Mike Tyson and promoted Mike Tyson for years. You know, the documented and proven woman abuser, oh, who, by the way, also happens to be a convicted rapist that served about five years in a federal pound in the ass prison for that offense? Ask Desiree Washington how a night in an Indiana hotel room goes with him. But you don't have any problem working for that now, or hell, you went away and you came back. But you all seem to be just fine with Mike Tyson being on the freaking network. You seem to be just fine with somebody like Ray Lewis being employed on the damn network. Somebody to who this day, many people, myself included, believe he knows a lot more about what happened on that night in 2000 and he may have indeed been a fucking murderer. The same asshole that when it comes to the NFL covering stuff up with Ray Rice and what have you, he says there's some things you can cover up and some things you can't. Of all people, Ray freaking Lewis. But where's Michelle Beadle on all this? Imagine that. Absolutely silent. Apparently, the only time her mouth is open is for two things. One, when she needs the job, and number two, when she needs to sit there and get out her own name. Here are some inconvenient truths for Michelle Beadle. Is that if you really want to dig in deeper, pretty much every company or every entity will be involved in all types of things that we don't like. That starts off with our government and goes to all other major corporations, what have you. It does not matter. And when you look at ESPN and some of the garbage that they've been involved with over the years and some of the shit that they've tried to put out there as propaganda and some of the spin that they've been responsible for over the years, Michelle Beadle, you're a part of the problem. You're most certainly not the solution. You're not some agent of freaking change that's going to help affect positive results from within. You're not doing any of that shit. You're just pretending to have these great uh, built-in principles 
So that way you can continue to not only collect a paycheck, but also look good to the masses. Here's some other inconvenient truths. You, like so many other people, got ahead because of who your family was and who your daddy in particular knew. You don't have your jobs that you have because of talent and skill. You have your job because of your hair color, your face, and your tit size. And that's the truth. And when you look at ESPN in recent years, in particular... They have taken that Fox News model and tried to make it their own. Bring on somewhat attractive looking women that really don't have the ability to function and form their own thoughts in their heads. You can have them spew out whatever propaganda you want. They will be none the wiser and you'll get enough idiotic males to sit there and believe the shit that's being spewed at them from the diarrhea box, which is the television. It's one of the big keys to Fox News' media success as a cable empire for years. It's clear what they're doing. You can look throughout Fox's entire block of programming and you see it. The Megyn Kellys, the Ainsley Earhart's, the what have you's. I could go on and on. And then when you look at ESPN, a network which so predominantly covers male sports, yet you look at so many of their sideline reporters, so many of their beat reporters that actually get camera time, the, you know, back in the day, the Aaron Andrews, the Liz, Lindsay Sarnicks, you know, the so on and so forth, the Michelle Beatles, they're so disproportionately female. Why the hell do you think that is? It has nothing to do with your talent or skill. It has everything to do with your hair color, your face, and your tit side. Because at the end of the day, unfortunately for you, you work in a man's world. And you have learned to get along because it's best for your paycheck. So don't sit there now all of a sudden and pretend like you have these great morals. Don't sit there now all of a sudden and pretend that all of this bothers you because this has been the inconvenient truth for you for years. Women are treated like second-class citizens, and even for you, you're again not there for your talent and skill. You are there to be something for middle-aged men to drool over saying, I'd like to have a shag with her instead of my freaking ugly-ass 50 pounds overweight wife. That's the truth, an inconvenient truth. At the end of the day, your voice doesn't matter. Your voice has never mattered. And especially in this case, your voice really doesn't matter because it is so ripe with hypocrisy and it is so ripe with double standards and so ripe with stupidity, I don't know why the hell anybody would take you seriously. The only way anybody should take you seriously is if you immediately announced your resignation from ESPN and HBO. Then in that case, I could be like, you know what? Michelle Beadle's got some balls, so to speak. She's got some principles. She took a stand. She believes what she says. She says what she believes. And she's not going to allow anybody to affect her. She's not going to allow anybody to try and change that. And she's actually going to try and be a positive agent of change. Instead, you will do none of that. You will just get mad and butthurt when your credentials get pulled from the fraud of the century that was Mayweather Pacquiao on Saturday. You'll be perfectly fine when you collect that paycheck from ESPN and HBO, two entities who grossly engaged in this Mayweather pumping up and Mayweather love fest the entire time. But now you're going to take it out on WWE. You're going to no longer be a fan of WWE because of their support of Floyd Mayweather. Listen here, bitch. If you want anybody to respect you, you want anybody to take you seriously, if it means that much to you, and it bothers you that freaking bad, then how about you resign from ESPN and HBO? But imagine that. You're not going to do that, are you? You're going to put them principles off to the side, be allowed to say just enough to that way ESPN can sit there and say, see, we allow some different opinions, even though you'll be the one of the two that out of everybody else that toes the company line and you really won't fucking matter. So you sit there and blame WWE. Shut the fuck up. Because you come across exactly as you are is an uneducated idiot. And for somebody that has a college degree, you once again prove that just because you have a college degree, it doesn't mean you know a damn thing. And it doesn't mean that you're intelligent in any way, shape, or form. A simple internet search years ago could have shown you all the evils of WWE as a company. And a simple internet search years ago when you were sitting there talking about how much you love Floyd Money Mayweather and his lifestyle could have shown you just what a devil he really was. It's sad to me that people like Michelle Beadle have a voice and that people like Michelle Beadle in any way, shape, or form are taken seriously because they're nothing more than fluff filler. 
and they're not to be taken seriously. And I hope you don't.